Hey guys, what's up? I'm Cuban Miss Prime, and this game is called Hellpoint. And this um, video right now is before the update to 1.11, which added a frame un unlocking option. And you can see here, there's no graphic tab on the Hellpoint options. And now, after the update came out, they did add a graphic tab, and you could unlock the frame rate. But I'm going to show you how badly this game ran on the PS4 Pro. And we're going to load the level. Let me fast forward the loading because the level loading is really, really bad. Okay, now that we started, we're going to rotate the camera. You can see that it does drop frames. It's um, it's mostly steady at 30, but you're going to see drop, drop of frames. And when a game is 30 and it drops frames, uh, you can tell right away versus a game that's 60 and it drops frames a little bit. But yeah, you see how it looks here? Um, the visuals are not that bad. It does need some work in the uh, anti scene. But you know what? The most important thing about a game, in my opinion, now these days, it's uh, if it's fun or not. Um, unless you're a graphic whore and you're uh, on the PC. Now the reason why I don't put the patch uh, version is because I can't tell which version is running right now. I um, mean, if you go to the options on the PS4 uh, of this game, you go to the options. There's no versus version. Ver I mean, versus. Look at me. Version something a number. You know what I mean? And if you look on the PS4 uh, um, update history, it just gives you the latest update um, version. It doesn't give you like different versions that came out. So I went online and looked around and I did find that the, the, the one with the frame unlocker option was version 1.11 and so this is before 1.11. Alright so now we're back to another portal um, section and let's look, take a look around and you can see the frame rate dropping. Um, it's, not, oh, it's not 30 I'm sure it's 25, 30. It's going back and forth, you know what I mean? You can see here also the visuals on the top. You see, you see the visuals there, the, the, the filtering. It's um, it's okay. I mean, you can see on the floor far away, it looks a little blurry. They need to fix those, uh, those, uh, those graphical issues. But you can tell right away the, the game is not, uh, it's not smooth, man. It hits dirty most of the time, but it does drop frames. And with this patch, um, it does improve uh, the, the the frame rate, uh, version 111. So let's take a look at it. All right, so this is version 1.11, and you can see by the graphical tab that I told you was missing on the earlier video that I did. Um, you could tell there. You could tell there. There's some options. Uh, some V-Sync options. You got options for no V-Sync, every V blank, or every, or every other V blank. So they got they got three options you could choose from. So we're gonna choose every V blank, and we're gonna start the game. And what every V blank does is it it maintains a solid 30 without dropping frames. It will drop frames once in a while, but not like before, like when I show you the earlier video that it would drop frames a lot. It will be like frame pacing. Um, so it will drop 30, 25, 30, but this, you can see the video here, uh, this keeps everything in line with 30 frames, and I'm very happy with it, I think it looks really good, and it doesn't, it does not, um, update the visuals, that's one thing I'm a little let down by, I guess these consoles are under, over, I mean overpowered, underpowered already, I mean, they came out in 2011 or 2012, I think 2013, I could be wrong, yeah, 2013, but uh, next gen is here and um, eventually we'll get a PS5 patch or something like that down the line. Alright, now, now let's go back to the main uh, title screen and go into the graphic options and we're going to add no V-Sync and take a look how, how, how it performs, you know what I mean? So this has no V-Sync at all. All right, so we're back, and this is no V-Sync, and let's see how this performs. So far, it's really smooth, the 60. 
But look when I uh, pan the camera around, all that tearing on the screen. It's really bad. I, I can't play like this, man. I just can't play like this. It's very annoying. Uh, and you can notice right away, right away the screen tearing. But it's a solid 60. There's no, there's no drop at all. But yeah, I cannot play like this, man. Alright, so we're back in the title screen. And we're going to pick every other V blank. And see how that performs on the game. Oh, Alright, so we're back. Uh, this is every other V blank. And this is what it does. It performs. Uh, it gives it a 60 frame feel to it. But there is some... Um, frame pacing a little bit but it's not as bad as uh, 30 frames frame pacing so yeah and it's smooth um, those issues that I had earlier uh, is gone so this uh, patch what it does or this uh, this option what it does every other V blank uh, it runs between 60 and it drops to 30 in occasions where it needs to drop to 30 because it's too much to for the console to handle like this scene for an instant for instant um it's, it's at 30 but it doesn't drop lower than that um i remember the or the earlier video i showed it would drop between 20 to 30 frames and here uh, i'm looking at 30 right now but it will it will go up to 60 in in some scenes but it won't drop really bad like the earlier game you see right here it's it maintained a smooth 30 right now it doesn't drop like before so i'm i, I like that as long as it doesn't drop below 30 which is annoying and it, it runs great man I'm happy with it and that's where I'm gonna keep it every other V blank V blank I could keep it at 30 but I really want the 60 frame feel of it you know what I mean and you'll get 60 frame in some scenes you know but so far the patch it's really good compared to when it, when the game came out Okay, like this scene here, as soon as I enter, it hits 60. So yeah, 60 right here. You can tell right away where the camera pans around a little bit. And then it drops to 30 here with the larger areas. But I don't mind that. Um, I don't mind that at all. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you like uh, if you like playing these type of uh, games, like Dark Souls style, style of games, I recommend this game. This reminds me of a lot of Event Horizon. It all takes place in all takes place in a ship and in space, and it's really good from a small development team. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. So thanks for watching, and you guys have a nice day and happy new year. Take care and bye bye.